All right, guys, here we are back on NR 2003. Today, we have another very exciting video for you, bringing you another track from Sign On. This one is the Inferno Pool lava all around the track and it's actually a road course which is really exciting for me if you've been around the channel for a while you know i love driving at road courses in stock cars this is on char in the caprulu sector i believe that's a starcraft reference if i'm not mistaken and uh, we'll be doing 14 laps here on the cup 98 mod by splash and go but we will be leaving a link to this track and this mod down in the description 92 ai difficulty today because the ai are pretty tough here Let's go ahead and get into the race. All right, guys, it is race time here at the Inferno Pool. This track is absolutely incredible. I mean, who knew this was possible in NR2003? I kind of laughed there at the start because I had tested this track the other day, but I forgot that I had added the uh, the National Anthem sound pack now. So I will be linking that down in the description. That's by Nathan Kiani, uh, NFK on that one. But uh, take a look at the crystals here on the side of the track when we come down to get the start of the race. They turn green. I like that a lot. I think that's really cool. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. We're just going to take it nice and easy in the early going on this here road course. Um, I will let you know that the lighting here actually does the colored lighting with these crystals. But I kind of turned that off in my settings because it was making me sick after a while. With the 14 lap race, um, I wasn't able to do it. So I, I turned off those crystals. But uh, we've definitely got lots of stuff to look at at this track. Tons of features to get us distracted around here. We got the lava pit in the middle, the flames on the side, the smoking. We don't want to be sliding our tires. I think that they're going to come into play, to say the least, with a 14 lap race. It's quite a ways on a road course. Made up a couple spots on lap one, so let's kind of take you through a lap here as we come down past the line. Decreasing radius left-handers, what we got here first, so Titans, Titans, Titans. Got Ernie Irvin looking up the inside, so we're just going to give him room. Gotta be so patient on the throttle out of there. Come back into a sweeping right. Little dab of the brakes on entry. Little uh, tap of Joe, her Nadu's back bumper. And then we'll come down here to a hard braking zone into a second gear left-hander. We'll make up a few spots. I'm just driving a bumper car at the moment. And that basically sends you back out onto the front straight where you're flat out here. Into this fast left-hander. You can hold it flat if you're brave. I'm going to lift a little bit right here. Seems like I'm a bit faster than the AI right there. Keep that in mind. Let's look to make up some spots right here. Right now behind Wally Dallenbach. First Union uh, Chevrolet. And that's the sponsor of... Um, I want to say it was the sponsor of North Wilkesboro's races. Although, when I say that, I think of Tyson Hawley Farms, so maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know, my NASCAR history can be fuzzy at times. Maybe they both had a race. But uh, we're going to get to the inside of Dallenbach, see if we can clear him off. The AI doesn't give up easy here, though. Dallenbach able to clear me back. And drive hard after him. Should be able to get him here in this fast left-hander. Time that move perfectly and we do get past him. We're really firing it off in here. Past about four people on that straight. And we got Dick Trickle there on the outside. Gonna clear him as fast as possible before we make any dick jokes. Time my cutback absolutely perfectly. And we clear him no problem. Next up behind Gibson and then uh, Kenny Irwin Jr. One of NASCAR's biggest what-ifs in history. Of course, absolutely tragic what happened to him and Adam. And uh, I was actually just watching the other day absolutely fantastic documentary by Brock Beard on YouTube. It's called Three Before February. 
highly recommend checking it out if um, you're interested. Right. Talks about Kenny Irwin Jr., Adam Petty, and Still Tony there. Roper. All uh, drivers who tragically passed away before Dale Earnhardt in 2001. And so, uh, yeah, definitely go check out that documentary. It's a feature length. And uh, maybe I should stop talking about uh, other awesome YouTube channels and videos on my YouTube channel. Maybe that's a bad strategy, but um, I gotta tell you, that documentary is worth watching. So we just absolutely sent it past Lake Speed and Kenny Irwin. Not doing the best job of saving my tires, but I'm limiting the sliding on the exit of the turn, which is good. That's what we want to do. See what kind of shape our tires are in. Oh yeah, only a little bit of wear. Could be, could be worse, could be better. We're up into 33rd here with nine laps to go. Oh, really need to be careful getting back on the throttle on the exit of that uh, left-hander there. It's very tempting to stab the throttle too early. You get out into that dark gray, it's just uh, like sand. No grip out there. Keep it tight to the inside here. Again, so patient on the throttle. So patient. Come back on it, trying to limit the sliding of the wheels. Again, we know we're really good in this turn, so let's make up some time here. And we do. Leg speed on the inside, unfortunately, so I don't really have anywhere to go. Oh, he slips up a little bit. I'm at a shallow angle, to say the right least. Back. Gibson is side by side with me. Who is this guy? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm not saying that if I don't know who you are, I'm just gonna wreck you. Okay, that's not... Oh boy. <laughs> Anywho, so we're down into, uh, down into about 35th right here. Gotta get, gotta get our mind on straight try and run a cleaner second half of this race we've uh, made some enemies here up to this point but I think you know a key thing to keep in mind is that right. it's because things have gone wrong doesn't mean we need to press Clear. and make up for it in the second half of this race if we drive clean keep to the left. slider and ego right there I didn't have it Just dart back to his inside clear, clear him there in one turn right. He's gonna come back at me. Great racing with Swerve and Ernie. We're cutting back across each other. Should have him right here though. The heavy braking now to the inside of Dick Trickle. Able to clear me though. Just gotta calm down a little bit. Can tell I'm uh, trying to drive too hard when I'm doing this with the wheel. Get to the inside of Trickle, we do right there. A little bit too aggressive though, you hear my tires protesting. A lava pit, man, it's heating up. Definitely an incredibly difficult track. So we have Mike Skinner off the pace. Let's make sure we don't run out into him. But the AI is, is difficult. I mean, I'm on 92 difficulty and I'm struggling with the field. Very impressive and fun to race. And I can see this being a fun online track as well, honestly. It's uh, got the challenge of a road course without being too complicated. Only a couple heavy braking zones. And it's fast. Gonna hit 170 here down the front. We break for the tightening left-hander. Five laps to go. One thing I will say about this track, though, is that I don't particularly prefer the finish line to be so close to turn one like it is. The reason I say that is, um, you know, if you're coming down on the last lap, it's like you drive full speed, but then cl clobber the wall at the exit of turn one trying to make a position, right or what do you do? Um, but I will say that having a long straightaway like that does help uh, make last lap passes, so... It's kind of give or take. Of course, at Talladega is the main track you'd think of. The starting line so far along. You see, I mean, I'm slowing down for one well before the finish line. 
We're up in the 30th right now. I blipped the throttle big time right there. Didn't need to do it nearly that much. Be able to get to the inside of Wallace right here as we're making our way into the top 30 with four to go. Kind of on the outside here, which is a bit concerning. We're just going to get it slowed down. Slides a little bit, but good work. Again, have to be so patient getting back on the throttle on the exit of those, uh, those heavy braking turns because it'll push out into the sand and you're finished. This track is too fast to be making mistakes. We make it three wide right here with Derek Cope and Steve Grissom. It's tight here on the inside. I got to be really patient getting back on the throttle. Hope's going to stay with me. I'm not going to wreck him like I did Gibson. Wheeling it out here. Still alongside. Finally cleared. Did a job right there. That was close. Definitely spent some tires getting that move done. And now, ooh. Very, very bad. Oh, no. So the noises you don't want to hear. Thankfully, it is late in the race. We're coming to get two to go. How many more spots we can actually get right here? Maybe top 25. Oh, man. So much for saving the tires. That's out the window now. Very, very late move on Trader. Not able to get the job done, though. Should be able to switch back on him here. Try and keep it to the inside so he can't get me back. It's already at the white flag, so it's spread out quite a bit here with our hard racing. Right side. Clear on the right. Good thing I cleared him because I went straight. Right oh man. Yep. Right. Pushed Clear. the tires a little bit too hard, and now I'm out of control. What's Clear. new? Keep it under 4, In second. Get right. to the inside of Terry, though. We do just about... Time to get the white flag here. We'll see how many more spots we can get. Into the inside of Kyle Petty in the Hot Wheels car. I believe that's a Pontiac. The sand a little bit there. Not able to hold it. Peter's already done with the race. We'll see if we can get one more. Come on, we can't finish behind Kyle Petty. Scrape of the inside, but no harm, no foul at this point. We're just going to gun it. Should be able to get Noom to check here. We have the preferred lane. Can we get Bodine as well? I'm taking it full throttle. We got him. I'm drifting. That's what I'm talking about with the finish line so close to the end of the race. Or so close to the end of the straightaway. So we come home in 22nd position. Um, this track is really, really fun to drive. You know, with how good it looks, the fact that I'm here talking about the racing the entire time and battling the AI, uh, you know that the racing is good. And I need to like get my head on straight and take a breather because that was an intense race to say the least. But I hope you guys did enjoy that. Uh, again, go down in the description to find links to everything you need to replicate this race. And I did want to say I do really appreciate you guys for watching. It does mean a lot to me. Hope to see you guys leave some comments as well. And I will see you guys in the next race.